Hey, you guys got any fiddler crabs? Fiddlers, no, sir. You guys have any fiddlers? No, we don't. Okay, thank you. Dang it! Just as I suspected. So during this time of the year, one of the best baits you could use are these tiny little crabs called fiddler crabs. A lot of people use them for sheep's head. It's been colder here, so this is like the perfect time to do some sheep's head fishing, which I've been wanting to do. As you can see, the issue is I, I just cannot find any fiddler crabs. Nobody has them in the stores. They're just kind of go extinct, like as far as bait and tackle shops go. However, we're gonna take things into our own hands today. I really don't know much about this area at all, but it's getting to lower tide, so hopefully we get out there and find some freaking crabs that we can find some fish. Hopefully. This might actually help us, because the more we can save on bait in the future, if we figure out how to catch crabs, the more we can spend on other fishing stuff. I literally spent all my money on fishing. I don't know what we're doing, I don't know where we're going, but let's look on Google Maps, let's go give it a shot. Bro, Google Maps is tripping. I it took me. And we're in the jungle. There's no crabs here. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure what happened. It's a spot I had saved, and this looks pretty interesting. All right, so if I know anything about these fiddlers, oh, dude, this is literally the first spot I stopped to look. You see these holes right there, like that hole? This could be freaking money, dude. Hold on, let me change shoes real quick. All right, welcome to catching fiddler crabs. Not really sure I'm the one that should be teaching this course, but I saw on the internet, it should be pretty simple once you find the holes. So if you're ever in a mucky area by the water and you see something like that, like that, like that, I'm like 90% positive those are fiddler crab holes or there's something weird down there or they're just holes, I don't freaking know. We are just literally going to stick this down there and kind of mess up the hole a little bit and hopefully we get some dude popping out. Let's see if this actually works and then throw them in the bucket. Hopefully the goal is catch some of these baits and then try to catch the sheep's head. Let's get this started. So we are going to go for this little hole right here first. Kind of stick this in at an angle and just kind of... Oh, there's a little one. Change the game plan in here possibly. I'm gonna see if I can flip any of these little exposed rocks over since the tide is so low and see if there's maybe any little other crabs. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, there's a tiny little one. You guys see that? Not exactly the size we're looking for. Some kind of tiny little crab. Boom, boom, okay. Initial plan did not work. I think the fiddlers are down way too far. Look at that. That is some, that's some freaking bait. All right, I gotta go bring my stuff over here. All right, let's flip over some more here. Anybody? Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, look at that. Sick. Freaking crab, man. Oh yeah. I did not think that the, look. I, when, I, when I came out here today, I was like, one of two things could happen. Either we find bait, we don't find bait. So we're completely winging this. I've never been to this spot before. This is literally just Google Maps. And Google Maps completely took us the wrong way earlier in the day. It's just an adventure to find bait. Oh, yeah. There's one. Boom. Sick. Tiny one. There's another little dude hiding under that rock. It's a nice one. Boom! Oh. Heck yeah, dude. Look at that one. That's another Ooh. Another nice one right there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, that is for sure the biggest one we've caught so far. Holy. All right, so we've got some bait. I've kind of tried to look around here and see. It's very low tide and it's only gonna start coming in from here. So I was trying to see how mucky this is and if we actually fit the kayak in here. Cause I think we could go down this way and then we could fish this bridge right here, but there's also like docks and stuff that we keep going out. We might be able to explore some new area, maybe even, you know, find some sheep's head areas. Should we launch it here? It's gonna be mucky mission. This is the hole. I think we have like 10, maybe a little bit over 10. We got some big boys in there though. So yeah, let's see if we can launch the kayak here. Just 
truck is parked. Let's get it started. This is the kind of stuff I love doing too. Exploring new spots and trying new things. I mean, I've never really caught crabs like this before ever. We're gonna see how they perform. You guys know I've been talking about getting like another angle for the kayak. I literally built it and like a piece is broke. So rip to that today. Again, I know literally absolutely nothing about this area. I don't know what this is gonna look like once we go through this bridge. I don't know how shallow this is gonna be. I don't even know if we can kayak this way. It is all part of the adventure. Yeah, it's pretty deep right here. As always, we got the Luz Inshore Speed Stick 400 Series, and then this is 7.2 medium heavy, moderate fast with this little dude. This is a bottom jig. Basically, we're just gonna hook the crab. We can even try it. Let's, let's go to this bridge here. Should be kind of almost slack, I think, right about now, and then it's gonna start coming in, so pushing against us. That should help us on the way back, hopefully. Not too chilly, it's been cold. Like, it's been getting down into the 30s the past couple nights, which, I mean, for Florida, it's a little bit chilly. I brought the crabs, right? Yeah. That would be funny. Gotta be careful, because these dudes are nippy. Now, ideally, send this down there, bait doesn't get snagged, fish eats it, boom, fish catch. And realistically, like, so many different things will bite this. Redfish, black drum, flounder. See how shallow it is? See all this stuff right here? This is what the sheeps love, man. Pilings, structure, anybody home. So realistically, you want to get it really close to the pilings because that's kind of where they hide out and feed. Let's get it right there. Hello? Oh, this bank is full of fiddlers. What the? Dude, they're literally everywhere. Oh, that's good enough. We run out of bait. They're literally crawling all over that. All right. Well, this is on the way back. We'll definitely be hitting this again. I'm gonna drop it down one more time. One more time, right about here. Yeah. I don't know about this bridge, man. It looks so good. Let's keep going this way though. We've got a lot to explore today. That sun is toasty, man. It's feeling good. The palm trees in the back. This looks really, really nice. There's a river out here with a bunch of giant freaking, I don't even know what kind of boats they are, something. Carrying some transportation stuff. There are a ton of docks. Basically the last, I don't even know how many times that I've tried to go sheep's head fishing. I haven't caught a sheep's head. So, kind of want some redemption. Hey, you gotta change that today. Oh. Some of these docks are not looking too good. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay. Dude, look at these houses, man. Y'all got some nice freaking houses on the water. Any of you guys live here, you know, you wanna, y'all, have a little cookout in the backyard or something, a little sheep's head? Let me know, dude. These are some nice pines right here. Let's give them a shot. Gotta lead it a little bit just because of this tide. Oh, a lot of it. Okay, this tide is, Tide's kind of moving. So many pilings. How do you choose? Serious question. There's so many. Well, obviously not that one. Whoa, shallow. Crab. 
cabs. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm wondering if this is one of those scenarios where it's like, there's just too much of a good thing. If that makes any sense. Ugh. Just so many pilings. Like, which ones do you, do you target? I have no freaking, I'm lost right now. Freaking Navy. All right, well, I feel like I've done, been all over the place exploring every freaking piling that's holding something up. We have not gotten a nibble, I don't think. We lost like two crabs in the process. I have a double crab on here now. I literally just put it on to maybe entice something a little more. Maybe something was wrong with the crab that I had uh, just punching down there. But we are going to keep going till we at least get a bite. And once we get a bite, we can kind of maybe figure out where they are. I don't know if they're deep. I don't know if they're shallow. I don't know if they're on like the tinier pilings or there's some that are covered in like this stuff is covered in like a sheet of stuff. I'm guessing to protect the wood. I don't know what I'm doing. No joke though. We've probably been at this for like hours by now. Okay, this looks good. I like to try where there's like a couple different pilings instead of just one. Let's try in between these two. All right, there. Come on. I think I'm gonna go more shallow after this. You'd think there'd be all kinds of stuff around these docks too. I mean, redfish, sheep's head. At least like a freaking. I don't know. Oyster cracker. Oh my god. I feel like it's a sheep's head. I don't know how big it is. Could be really anything though. Could be a little pinfish. Could be all sorts of stuff. Come on, dude. Just the head is on. Will they eat just the head or do they see the hook? There's a fish. There's a fish. Got one. Got one. Got one. Dude, 
food. First fish of the day is this one. Is this a keeper? It's a sheepy. Finally got our freaking revenge on the sheepies. All right, chill, buddy. That's a good size one, too. Look at that. All right, um, where's my ruler? All right, for anybody who fishes for sheep's head, please, in the comment section below, help me out. That last clip you just saw was from like about 10 months ago, approximately. That was the last sheep's head I caught. I don't know why it's such an issue up here in Northern Florida. Like I cannot find them. Am I at the wrong tide? I was at like kind of lower tide going into high tide. Do I need to go high to low? Just wanted to kind of make this into a video here. This is a starting point. I want to become a sheep's head master and uh, I, I just need you guys' help as well in the comments below. But also, I just want to show you guys that this is just kind of how fishing is sometimes, you know? One day, we're going to be like, let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. You want to know just where...